Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, St. Luke's. There's a, just a couple of things very, very quickly. Thank you to the wonderful uh, Chinese Youth Orchestra and uh, fr from the uh, from the school. I'm sure Mr. Lau will be really proud of you uh, today. And thank you for your support and all you do for us in the in the community here. It's uh, fantastic. So it's great to see you all. It's fantastic to be uh, in this uh, the grounds of St. Luke's Church. This is an area which is very close to my heart. I grew up uh, around here, about a five minute walk down that way. Um, I used to come here when I was a kid catching butterflies. Never really understood the significance of it as a young, uh, as a young man, but as you got older and recognised the importance of what we've done. It was built, as you can see, in 1831, and it was but during the Blitz, it was uh, damaged. But it, it's become a symbol uh, of peace and it's become a symbol of Liverpool and it's something that we all cherish and love and so it's great to see uh, the money with Historic England's partnership and I'll introduce Catherine in a minute but it's it's absolutely fantastic that we've been able to secure the building but there's much much more to do as we need to continue to protect it and cherish it and look, that, look after it and I don't think we could put it in any more safer hands than with Ambrose I mean the man's passion uh, for the building and, and, and the grounds and the work that he does beyond uh, the call of duty um, is tremendous and he's a tremendous asset for this building. I'd just also uh, like to thank uh, our Heritage Champion, she's here, it's great to see um, you know, the fact that we uh, spend so much money on protecting our heritage and cherishing our heritage, it's important uh, to us and this is uh, another step and another milestone in what we've been able to do and what we've been able to achieve. But also to thank Glendale, our council workers, our staff, Steve Mumby, all of the ward councillors. It's been uh, a really good good effort and um, it's something, as I said, that we've got to continue to do to make sure that we protect it, cherish it, look after it, uh, so that it's here and standing here in another uh, 100 years as well. So. Uh, I'm proud to be uh, here this morning. It's great to see you all, as I said, with that display from the Chinese community. I I'm going to hand over to Catherine from English Heritage because the project cost us about half a million pounds and uh, English Heritage stepped up to the place, Historic England, Catherine, uh, stepped up to the place and gave us about 50% of that funding. Um, and we always welcome funding in, in any uh, shape or form to help us protect the building. So well done. And uh, as I say, thank you for being here. And I just say a uh, round of applause to Catherine for Historic England and giving us the money. Yay! Thanks, Joe. Um, well, it's lovely to be here. Thank you very much. And thank you to the um, fantastic orchestra. As Joe said, this building um, was built between 1811 and 1831 by a father and son surveyor partnership who worked for the Corporation of Liverpool. Um, and it was built originally as a church and a concert hall. So it's been fantastic to have the, uh, the orchestra here this morning, so thank you again. Um, of course, then it was bombed out in 1941, and it's that reason that the people of Liverpool really value this building. So it's wonderful to see it uh, repaired and restored today. Um, it's possibly been our longest running Heritage at Risk case. Um, so it's great to see it coming off the register today. Yeah. As Joe said, <laughs> yay! As Joe said, we've, uh, we've given £250,000 worth of our funding, but it's been a great partnership between us and Liverpool City Council. So thank you to yourselves for that as well. And let's just celebrate uh, the future of this building. It's going to be an exciting future. Innovative uses, hopefully, happening inside the building. Um, so thank you for coming, thank you to everybody that was involved in the project and uh, enjoy your day. Okay, thanks. Thank you. um, I'm just going to hand you over now to Ambrose. As I said, I, I can't personally uh, thank him enough um, because his dedication and his passion for the building is it, tremendous and, and you know, um, we love to support him and he, I'm sure he will uh, come up with the ideas. You know, we're talking about having weddings inside and talking about uh, do many other things but as far as I'm concerned as I said I couldn't wish to have anybody else uh, sort of looking after the project because he's just totally committed and passionate uh, uh, about this building and um, over to you do you want to say a few words Ambrose well done thank you very much Mayor Joe um, and Catherine uh, what a great it's a great day this um, after so many years of neglect by different administrations this guy's 
these guys have come in and taken this building off the at-risk register. Before it was fixed up, when it was windy, we had to shut in case something fell down. Now we can stay open all of the time. And for these kids, grandkids, and their grandkids can come and visit the bombed out church and learn about what happened to Liverpool during World War II when we were on the brink of collapse. And this building is a testament to the resilience of the people of Liverpool, but it's also a symbol of hope. It's the phoenix of creativity rising from the ashes of this church. Um, and once again, thanks all for coming. Thank you to the Pagoda, who have been going for 35 years, an amazing organisation, and to the lovely little kids who did that wonderful lion dance. I think there's tea and bickies inside, and there's chocolate muffins for you guys. <laughs> Thanks a million.